Hi everyone and welcome to Studio The Sword. My name is Lina and today's video is going to be another polymer clay tutorial and I'm going to be showing you how to decorate your own mug using polymer clay and this is the fall theme design that we're going to be doing so let's get started. And a quick reminder, if you don't want to miss any of my videos, don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe to my channel and like this video, I will appreciate that. And what I'm usually starting with is creating a little draft on paper, how my future design um, gonna look like. So for this particular case, my mug is orange, so I decided to find a color schemes that's gonna be complementing the colors. So th for this particular mug, I'm gonna be using seven different colors and I'm preparing all of those colors before so for example i mixed um, lighter yellow then the lighter green i also mixed a little bit of the blue with the white to make it a little bit softer and also a beige color and a skin tone color also by mixing the colors you are preparing the clay for the future manipulation so it's going to be soft and flexible next step what i'm doing is creating the body like a base for the future doll i mixed the um, skin tone for that but it's not a lot because uh for the inner side of that i'm gonna be using the leftover glaze from the previous times and i'm just gonna cover it up the tone the base tone on top of that so i'm gonna create a shape for example the round shape for the future head and then i'm gonna cover that with the tone understand uh, the size that you will need for your future mug I recommend to do the paper draft so in case you um, you can cut it out you can see how the actual design is gonna look on a mug After I created the base for the future doll, I started doing the little details that's gonna go on top of it, like uh, creating the clothes for the doll. And the first I'm doing is the scarf, and for that I'm gonna use my extruder. Uh, it's a tool, if you don't have it, you still can make the pattern. So extruder helped me to create this noodle looking shape. When your noodles are ready, you take in two and start twisting them really gently uh, into like right or left side. Just remember what side you're doing because the next two stripes you need to do in the opposite direction. So you're putting those two twisted pieces together and it's gonna create like a knitting effect. So when you attach two pieces together, 
you need to have a little flat base for that so you can apply it on it. I recommend to have the same color for the base so it's all gonna be looking like one piece. And now you gently apply your noodles <laughs> or knitting on top of the base and make sure that it's all attached to it. Now when my knitting piece is ready, I'm just gonna measure it how it's gonna go like a collar on a neck and make sure it's gonna fit or if I need to cut some extra and then I'm just putting this on the side. And we start doing the future dress. For that, I'm taking a blue uh, clay and also have a fabric with a pattern that I like. So what I'm doing is applying the fabric on top of my clay and just going over with the rolling pin to make the pattern go on top of our clay. After I'm done with that, I start measuring how long the future dress will be and also for this particular dress I wanted to do two layers so second layer I decided to do a um, white translucent clay and um, it's gonna be the underskirt and the top blue skirt All right, we apply the skirts and now I'm doing the coat. For that, I'm taking my green clay and again, I'm taking the textured fabric and applying it on top of my clay to transfer the pattern and texture. So now I'm measuring the size of the future coat so it looks nice on our future doll and cutting out the little pieces two for the size then we're also gonna make a little hands and cover them with the coat. The next little detail I'm making is little pumpkin since I themed my doll in the fall and Halloween. And uh, for that I'm taking the orange clay, making a little piece also measuring if it's gonna be a good size for my future doll. And then using the clay tool I start applying a little cards on a um, pumpkin and then using black clay I'm cutting out a little triangles for the eyes for the pumpkin
And now it's time to create the hair. And for that, I'm again gonna use extruder with the smallest nozzle I have. And I'm using the lighter yellow color for the hair. So I'm taking my section of three or four of those noodles, applying them on a wooden stick to create the curl pattern, then um, very accurate, take them off the wooden um, stick <laughs> and applying them to the head, attaching uh, closely to the head, to the shoulders, whatever possible attachment I can find with the base. After that, I decided to add a little head piece. For that, I'm just taking two little pieces, like a round, creating them, making them a little bit flat, and adding a little stripe of white to create like a fur-ish texture. Now it's time to add on some boots and the socks. For that, I'm using again the green, blue, and the translucent white. I'm flooding my green clay on a minimum that my pasta machine, measuring around the each of the leg and creating like a little fold in effect, like it's a, like little folds on the socks. Applying that, then take them on the side, creating the little boots. For that, I'm taking two uh, pieces of the blue clay on top of that i'm adding um, a little bit of the white on the front and applying the pattern of the little stripes also adding the lace creating like a little cross and it's time to apply those little boots so applying boots first and covering the steam with the socks It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. And now I'm checking again that my mug and my design looks nice and neat and I like everything. Um, I can like do touch-ups here and there if something messed up while I was doing something else. And it's time to bake. Usually all the clays have the recommended temperature and the time for the baking. And I usually do follow those rules. But for this piece, since it's a thicker layer of the clay, I'm gonna put this in the oven for an hour to make sure that my design is completely baked. And our piece is baked and ready. So now it's time to separate mug and our design. Prepare the mug. I'm preparing the surface uh, for the future pattern to stick on better. Still using epoxy resin to glue the design to the mug. I want to try some of the glues with the epoxy in them. Um, it's gonna be in the next video, I hope. And for now, I'm just mixing the resin. It's one to one ratio. Um, wait a little bit so it's get a little bit hotter so it's not as liquid as it is. I'm applying on the back of my design and sticking it to the mug. And after that, I'm uh, adding masking tape so the pattern won't move and would like stick to it completely and forever, I hope, and leaving it for 24 hours. And this is the final result. As you can see, I am happy with it. I came out super cute and fall theme. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this mug if you like this tutorial. And this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and we see each other in the next video.